hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to build retrieval augmented generation system and connect it to whatsapp through twilio so in this tutorial you will learn how to build this beautiful interface where you can upload a file and then talk to the file in the same interface then i'll show you how to connect the same application to WhatsApp through Twilio. Also, I will guide you through all the steps that are required to build the system. I have this file uploader widget. I'll click on it and I'll select the file that I want to upload and create knowledge. Uh, this file uploader from Gradio is having some issue lately so that when you upload a file you don't immediately see it here but it is there so when i click on upload it will convert the pdf into pieces of text and then upload it on my vector store i have a vector store on quadrant cloud so when i refresh this hopefully yeah we'll see a document a gpt collection and it has around 34 documents and hopefully yeah if we come back here you will see that documents uploaded and index created successfully you can chat now so when i say hi it will reply me back and meanwhile i'll show you the document i have uploaded i have uploaded this mame gpt towards llm as operating system so yeah we got a response I'll say what is Mame GPT. So you can see here it first converts the question into a standalone question so that it is formatted correctly and then you know do the retrieval augmented generation and create a response and the response we can see here. So now let's look into the code part a bit. So I have these few files here written. Uh, we have this config.py file here. We create all the configuration needed for the application to work. I have this conversation.py. Uh, this will create, you know, uh, all the conversation related things for us. It has uh, create LLM conversation backend function and it has create LLM conversation. So this function goes to the UI and the backend function goes to uh, Twilio. Then I have database API, all the database related queries uh, goes through this file. Uh, then I have this Gradio UI. It is a simple UI. If you are interested in building more uh, Gradio UI stuff you can see you can watch a couple of my videos on that then I have this index.py this file creates index and clears index then I have this requirements.txt file all the packages used in the application are here so you need to do uh, python 3 hyphen m venv venv to create your virtual environment once you activate it then you need to use pip install hyphen r from requirements.txt file then i have this uh, twilio api here we have a single function which sends message to a whatsapp number and finally i have this run.py file this file receives request from Twilio, process it, uh, send OK response back and then, you know, send message to the user as well. So now, since we, you know, briefly understood the code, now let's see what things you will need to implement this. So I'll go into the .env.example file. You will need open AI API key, open AI model name. We are using 3.5 turbo. The, then Twilio SID uh, token, MongoDB connection string, and then quadrant credential. So let's get them one by one. 
so i'm here in my uh, quadrant cloud account if i go here to the cluster section i already have created a cluster but i'll show you how to create one very quickly and get the credentials so i'll copy that i'll paste it and i'll delete that so when you create your quadrant account it will ask you to create a cluster but if you have skipped that you can follow these steps so you click on create cluster let's say my cluster name is uh, test cluster make sure you select the gcp cause that's the free version and then i'll hit on create so this will create a cluster for us and once the cluster is on you can communicate with that meanwhile you need to create api key to communicate with the cluster so i'll click on api key i already have one but i'll delete that and i'll click on create one i'll select the cluster i want to attach with the api key so this is the api key so now i'll copy that and i'll paste it here and you will also need the url on which we want to make request and i'll paste it here so one down we have now information for our vector data store uh, you don't need to expose this thing to anybody you don't trust cause this is sensitive information and don't worry about me i'll destroy it once the video is recorded so now uh, let's move to mongodb part so i'll go to cloud.mongodb.com here i already have an account and i already have a cluster this is project zero cluster here you need to do two things first in the database access you need to create your user once your user is created you need to copy the password but in case you don't have the correct password you can always go to edit password uh, auto generate secure password and then copy that okay once you have that password copied what you can do is that go to databases and then connect and then use this compass section and you will have the connection string but the password is masked so you need to replace the password with the password you just created make sure uh, you paste it right because if the string is wrong you will not able to connect to mongodb next in the network access you need to delete whatever accesses you have and then create a new access and in that make sure you use allow uh, access from anywhere so this will create this kind of network access so that anyone uh, with the connection string can access the database so now we have completed this uh, connection string part let me paste my password and everything so that yeah i'll go there i'll come here as well oh sorry not driver compass and then i'll copy this and then let me structure this for you so this is mongo and i'll replace the masked password okay this is your url next let's look into this twilio thing so i'll go to my twilio account and i have already created a project for that project i have this account s id and auth token just copy those things and paste it here and here now when you go to the messaging section and try it out you will see that send a whatsapp message
here you will see this number this is a twilio sandbox number and anybody who creates account with twilio get access to that number so that is written here as well now the last thing is open ai api key so you go to your open ai account and go to api key section you can create new api key and paste it here so now we have got all the information we needed finally what i'll do is that i'll upload the code i will upload the code on my github once the code is there on my github i'll go to render and then i'll create a new application so i'll click here and i'll click web services i'll choose build and deploy from a git repository i'll say next make sure your account is connected to the same github which is uh, holding your repository okay uh, then i'll select the one that i want to connect i'll say uh, let's say um, i'll say document hyphen chat gpt select the region nearest to you uh, then here i'll use this command unicorn run uh, colon app space hyphen hyphen host space 0 .0 .0 .0, uh, space hyphen hyphen port and 5000 i'll select this uh, free hobby project and then now i'll create all the environment variables okay so let me do that and i'll come back once i create all the environment variables now i have created all the environment variables and then hit uh, create web service button and that will lead me to this uh, terminal here uh, you will see that our application will be deployed and you will get this url so now copy this url and once this is deployed you need to go to twilio and then sandbox setting and then provide this url followed by slash and twilio word and save it so that whenever a new message comes on this number it will request for the response on this url and then this url will generate a response and send it back to the sender's whatsapp number you can see that uh, our application is being deployed also the same url followed by gradio route will lead to the gradio ui part yeah it's building the application let's wait for a bit so that it it is deployed and then we can test it uh, i guess i'll <coughs> you know skip that part uh, but it is being deployed a build success let's wait for a bit now okay i guess this will take time so uh, i'll skip that part and hopefully this works for you i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel this helps uh, thank you for watching peace